theatre is in dire crisis here in London. And is it really just about the productions? Or is it, in fact, we've all fallen out of love with theatre? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for your company. Now, if, like me, I enjoy nothing more than a night at the theatre, and I'm sure you'll agree, there's nothing nicer than hearing a lush orchestra, a professional uh, set of artistes entertaining us on a glittering stage, sometimes in an historical theatre. But of late, a lot of productions have really struggled to make their money back. And it's not about investors or indeed the ticket prices, which I believe are way too high. Now, have you ever noticed on these big celebrity events, the award shows like the BAFTAs, the Oscars, Cannes, how everybody is now dressed down? Now, some producers are finally waking up to the fact that these opening nights should be an event, should want to draw people in. If you look back at the old footage of the Oscars or the Academy Awards, whatever you want to call them, you know, the big events, the Tony Awards, people got dressed up. There's a reason for this also. It was because we wanted to look like them. Look at the celebrities. People turning up in diamonds and furs, men in dinner suits, looking absolutely smart and more importantly, ready to sell their product. If you look at these recent pictures of an opening night in London here, you do have to ask yourself, did they actually know it was an opening night or had they just simply popped along from the shops to see a show for free? Now, the biggest problem here, not just in the West End, but across the United Kingdom for theatre is they're trying to reinvent it, get people interested once again. The pandemic has decimated people's idea of going out. Some shows are doing well, some are not. The biggest problem now is how do the producers reinvent that look and make you want to attend? My advice to them would simply be this. Make sure that you actually find some stars that are worth inviting to the opening night. And do insist on a dress code because if people dress nicer, it may look like the sort of event that people might just want to spend an evening with. As ever, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it old fashioned to want people to be dressed up? Or is it, of course, nice to see people making an effort in public? Neil Sean in the heart of London.